Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac. I think we're due for an Eden run. I can't recall. Nobody ever complains about Eden. Everybody loves Eden. So I'm gonna be Eden. We got the Bean, Curse of the Unknown, and the Toothpicks. I guess I should have divined that we had the Toothpicks uh, from our character model. ZRK8. KQ! KQ! KQ. 04E8 ZRKQ. Alright. Really high range is what it seems like there. Really fast shot speed as well, and the bean, uh, well, if you whiff on it, it's not very good, and hey, we must have had more than one HP to start this run, otherwise we would already be dead. So I guess that's a positive if you want to choose to frame it that way. Uh, the bean is, is okay, and I mean that sincerely. It's not good, and I think in, in vanilla, it was borderline good. Something about it in Rebirth, I'm not sure if I can fully articulate it. Something about it in Rebirth doesn't necessarily tickle my fancy quite as much. Maybe less damage, maybe bad memories from the Beans challenge. Um, I, I don't fully know, but I don't particularly like it. But I do have a soft spot. If I'm going to hate an item, better to hate an item that you can use very often. And hopefully to good effect. So we will uh, we'll try to make this work here. We have two bombs. I don't mind using one to try to uh, take out our little haunts faster. Ah, that was real bad. We might be super low on HP. We might be down to our last half heart. At least the fart word worked. Worded? <laughs> At least the fart worded! Alright, that was very dangerous. I should stop getting so close to him because it makes it um, unpredictable. Which is not something that I'm very interested in maintaining here. Hopefully we get some more HP here. Now, I say that now, but that's mostly a byproduct of Curse of the Unknown. If we didn't have Curse of the Unknown... Shit. I'm gonna be straight with you. I probably shouldn't have died there. I'll show that death, and we're gonna play an Eden run again. We actually lost an Eden token. Bad luck, but also... Oh, I made a little bit of poor play. And maybe a lot of poor play. Hey, pretty fly right off the bat. So we got Cricket's Body, which is great. And, um... Also, Isaac's Jar of Tears, 6JH606RR. I'm embarrassed about that loss. I'm just going to be straight with you. It hurts me down to my core, and I mean that sincerely. Isaac's Jar of Tears plus Cricket's Body. Seems like a good start, although I'll admit, um, you know, Isaac's Tears is something that we'll probably be looking to replace as soon as possible, but starting with Cricket's Body leaves the door open for lots of awesome synergies. I like this run more. I'm sorry, Isaac's Jar of Tears. I could see how you would get good. I really do. But I think I'm going to have to go with Dead Sea Scrolls just because I never get the opportunity to use Dead Sea Scrolls. I've used Isaac's Jar of Tears before. I've never used, uh, to the best of my knowledge at least, I've never really used uh, Dead Sea Scrolls. Every time it shows up, I just tell it to F off forever and, you know, go die, basically. Not very kind to it. Quite rude, actually. Hopefully, our secret room does end up being adjacent to our cursed room here. That would save me a spirit heart. Doesn't appear that that is going to be the case, but at least we did get access to this. Uh, in fact, it seems now pretty much guaranteed that our secret room will actually be right here. Alrighty then. You know what? I've never been afraid of anything in my life, so there we go. We actually picked up a little bit of extra HP in the process. There, 11 cents is pretty good. Let's put that previous loss behind us and start working towards something beautiful here. What is this one? Ah, there we go. Shoot the whoop. I wish it, <laughs> it would take away a little of the charm. I wish it told you what it did though. Like as you did it, instead of having to guess, because it makes it a little bit harder to position yourself appropriately, but whatever. All right, we're fighting Famine. Certainly we got a much easier roll here. Not R, well we got an easier R-O-L-E and we got an easier R-O-L-L. -L. Uh, we have um, a little bit of higher HP, although we had more red hearts last time. But we, we can buff that out, or we have buffed that out with a little bit of extra, you know, spirit heart and demon heart action. Plus, uh, Cricket's Body, I think, is a better pickup than Toothpicks. And the Bean and Isaac's Jar of Tears are not that dissimilar, I guess. Let's head down to the next floor. I realize we could maybe use uh, Dead Sea Scrolls to get Book of Revelations, but it's unlikely. Let's save it for a room with combat. Now we have Curse of the Unknown. We know that we can play this once. In a way, you know, having one Red Heart is a very convenient amount of HP to have here. It's very easy for us to know uh, where we stand. That was, uh, that was the deck of tarot cards. We picked up a tower card. We should, I don't know how this is going to work. 
Let's try it, though. We got one, and we also got the secret room. This Getting the secret room there is a huge surprise to me. We can now at least gain access to this. And what do we have inside? It is a clean room, which means it's going to be a black market downstairs. That's good. Makes it easier. I don't know why I was... Uh, or maybe not a black market, but a crawl space. But I don't know why I was looking for a crawl space there when we know that we won't get another one. Like, we, if we get it there, it doesn't matter, because we only need one bomb to guarantee ourselves one anyway. So I'm hoping that we manage to uh, pick up a situation here, uh, or pick up a bomb here. Two bombs would be great as well. Uh, that Dead Sea Scrolls was Yum Hearts, which actually will allow us to play the Blood Bank one more time, taking us dangerously close to being able to take advantage of our shop. This is obviously a, a room that I'm not an enormous fan of, but this is going pretty well, and we're pretty much guaranteed to deal with the devil here, and really, I... I this might not come across the right way. But I really do feel like the hardest part of, of Rebirth is the first floor, second floor. If you get through that, and you get through it in the ideal way, which is to say that you pick up, uh, you know, your deal with the devil and maybe a good item within it. Let's give it a try here. Um, I really think that you're pretty much set. Maybe not set for life, but you're set up pretty well. I didn't hear the sound here. Oh, shoot the whoop again. At least I winged him. I was worried that it would be. But uh, it, it, it went pretty well regardless, I guess. Now, we don't have to do what I'm doing here. But I'm glad I am doing it because um, the, the cube of meat is doing a nice little amount of damage there. We've only got one HP, so remember that as we come in here. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. In fact, we picked up some extra spirit arts, which is quite nice. Still need a bomb. Presumably, we can buy one from our shop or gamble for one, and we should be okay. Um, but yeah, like once you get through the first two floors, I think your life becomes typically a lot easier. Not always, but typically a lot easier. Um, this is obviously perhaps an exception, but we'll see what we get out of the rest. Oh, I'm so happy that we picked up rubber cement out of this. And uh, let's see what we got going on in here. I don't really want to buy anything here. I mean, you could definitely make a case. Uh, we'll, we'll buy this. Well, you can make a case for buying... Um, Another spirit heart. You could even make a case for the uh, deck of tarot cards, but mostly I wanted to pick up this, and that gave us two keys. Eh, it's a pretty good deal. It saves us from buying the other keys in the shop. We might buy the spirit heart as well, but for now, let's uh, come in here and bomb this. I hope it's a black market. Uh, yeah, I hope it's a black market. We could trade for something for free. It's not. It's a crawl space with just a chest inside of it. So keep in mind, we already spent, you know, basically three bombs getting in here. So that's a little bit of a disappointment the way that worked out. But we did recently gain more HP, didn't we? So we can come back here, and it's a bit of a risk, but we can play this thing once. See what we get? Uh, yeah, okay, that's pretty good, actually. And now we'll go back to our shop. Nah, we'll just go, I think. I think we're fine. Certainly not in a, a an unlosable position here by any stretch of the imagination, but it could be a lot worse. I'm happy to have the keys. I didn't expect that bounce, which is a little foolish on my part. And, um, it, I mean, we're set out pretty well. Rubber Cement plus Cricket's Body is a really nice kind of baseline for future synergies. I'm very happy to have it. Still not making me too happy about that. <laughs> like, I'm not happy we lost. That's going to be Shears, which is going to make this room a lot easier. Uh, I'm not happy we lost that first run, but I am happy that after a loss, we get to experience this, uh, this lovely synergy here. I got to be honest, my recent performances in Isaac have been relatively good... Histo like, historically good. Like, much better than, than average over the course of the past three years. So, it, I think in a way, it's made me in a little bit uh, a little bit more of a sore loser than, I, than I've ever been with respect to Isaac before. Like, now when I lose, I get a little salty about it. Just a little bit. Not, not a reckless amount of saltiness over losing in a video game. But I'm, I'm being sincere. It troubles me a little bit. I, you know... It's not like my wife is like, what's wrong, honey? And I'm like, I can't believe I lost that fucking Eden run. It's more like, you know, it just bums me out because I know that in it, within every loss is a win. I just have been unable to find it on that one. Okay, so we teleported into our... That might have been undefined or it might have just been teleport. I, I guess it was just teleport probably. Lucky me on that one. Um, let's hope we get another deal with the devil here. We do have this Perthrow rune and then it seems like the perfect opportunity to use the Perthrow rune, doesn't it? If we can use it on a deal with the devil, what could be greater? Now, I don't like fighting peep like this. The closer he gets, the easier it is for us to take damage. It's miraculous that we have not taken any damage so far. We've already done about 60% of his max HP. 
extremely tempted to just sneak in there and do a little bit of meat damage because he has not spawned a creep, which is really just exceptionally good luck on our part. If he spawns a creep, it makes him much, much harder to deal with because we can't get close with our orbitals, but yeah, like that, for example. But it's a little too little too late. We got it done. Great situation. We do get a deal with the devil. We have two HP now. And... <laughs> I'll tell you what, okay, we're gonna we're gonna take rubber cement. And I wish I could take both, of course. But we're gonna take rubber cement because we already have crickets or sorry, we're gonna take death's touch because we have crickets body and rubber cement so we can get cool synergies instead of just the knife cutting through everything. And then we'll per throw that, and that's pretty much what I was hoping for, is it would re-roll into a spirit heart based item. I'm sorry, Dead Sea Scrolls, but um that worked out fantastically for us. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Now, if I was just gunning for a win, I probably would have gone for mom's knife instead of Death's Touch. A little bit more of a reliable damage dealer, in my opinion at least, but um, because we have Cricket's Body and Rubber Cement, I would never forgive myself if I took... If I could take both, eh, it wouldn't really matter, I guess, if we could take both, but um, I, I like the Death's Touch Penetrative Tears combined with Rubber Cement. And now I think I'm going to throw this all away to pick up Technology? Technology doesn't allow us to shoot... Oh man, we're, life's full of difficult choices, isn't it? I feel like Sharp Plug could be good for us, but I never use it effectively, which is not Sharp Plug's fault. Sometimes when I say that, people go, well, don't take it out on Sharp Plug. Well, it's like, you know, I don't know how to, I don't know how to run a nuclear power plant either. That's why, I, you know, I'm not insulting foremen, and I don't know if that's a gender neutral term or whatever, but I'm not insulting the people that manage nuclear power plants, rather saying it's it's beyond my realm of expertise, so I'm going to stay away from it. More, more power to you if you do know how to do that stuff. If you are a, a oh, that was really dumb of me. If you are a sharp plug acolyte, by all means, enjoy life. I'm just bad at it, man. It's not the item's fault. It's my fault. I don't think we want to take technology, and I know there's going to be a certain contingent of people out there that are going to be shouting, "Do it! Just take it!" We have a special run right now from a synergistic standpoint. And if you were shouting at me to take those bombs, or sorry, to take those batteries, shame on you, dog. Shame on you, because. We're going to be able to ball out of control now. We didn't waste any charges in doing so. But anyway, um, that'll take us up to a very decent amount of HP. Um, if I take technology, I don't continue to fire shots, right? Like, it's tech 2 that allows you to shoot. It lowers your damage, but it allows you to shoot a technology beam and uh, have your own existing shots. I can't in good conscience... Well, wish I'd known that. <laughs> I can't in good conscience get rid of my sweet-ass Death's Touch... Rubber cement cricket's body scythes. They're too too fun, you know. And and quite good as well. Now and while I know technology would be an awesome pickup, this is one of the very rare situations in which I think it's in our best interest not to take technology and instead rather to. Um... Yeah, we don't have any bombs, so I guess we'll just take temperance with us. Uh, and instead, don't take technology. Leave it behind and and just uh, just leave instead. Because we already have. Oh, we're gonna get hit. Oh my god. This is the the best like cube of meat pre fly combo I've ever had. All right, catacombs two, making decent time. Basically, if you you want cliff notes and you didn't follow my stupid convoluted rant there, we have a sweet combo because of the fact that our shots ricochet. The same reason I didn't take mom's knife, it would ruin our synergy. Is the same reason that I'm going to not be taking technology. It would ruin our synergy. It would be good. From a damage dealing perspective, w better maybe maybe not. I just died. It's a crapshoot. But it would ruin our synergy, and I gotta stick with the synergy love. You know, that's the whole reason I'm here playing Rebirth is to experience these awesome synergies. Uh, hopefully, we pick up a bomb live or otherwise here. I would take a live bomb. I think it would still allow us to get done what needs to get done. Satanic Bible is such a huge pickup for us. And in case you hadn't divined, so this is again something I'm a little salty about. I was like, what if Spoonbender shows up? But I think Spoonbender still works with this, but I do kind of wish that we'd taken technology now. But uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles, man. Again, our orbitals are so good for us here. Luckily, we found our second secret room. I'm not super stoked about the damage we took there, but still, this is a great run shaping up here. I don't know, maybe we should have stuck with uh, Isaac's Jar of Tears. So the Fallen is a free deal with the Devil, which is always very, very nice. Maybe we can combine this with a free deal from Krampus or a three hard deal that is awesome. Like a three spirit hard deal that's incredible, but we'll see. We're going to start with Sacrificial Dagger and nothing else, and that's okay. I think that is just fine. 
I would normally very much like to leave this floor, but I don't think we can justify it yet. But I will be sticking with uh, I will be sticking with left hand to give ourselves a chance at that guppy payout. I can't believe I made the choice to preserve our synergy, and as a result, missed out on the technology spoon bender synergy. Just have mercy. <laughs> Let me, you know, break that up into two different runs. There's no reason to have Cricket's Body, Rubber Cement, Technology, and Spoonbender all in the same run. Spread the love a little bit. That was very dumb of me, but, you know, that's why we're here exploring, so we can get more HP as well, hopefully. It turns out I should have taken the Hanged Man. It would have actually given me a, an, an extra black card there. That's all right, though. And, you know, I shouldn't be salty that we picked up Spoonbender, because it's still really good. Like, it's still helping us out here. Is it helping us out as much? Almost doubtlessly, no. But it is helping. And really, like, to complain about this run, especially given, like, what you could have had, is just... It's very disappointing. It just leaves a bad taste in your mouth, doesn't it? We're not doing an incredible amount of damage, I'll admit, but the strength of this run is not going to be in, um... In nuking down one enemy super quickly. This is not a Brimstone Polyphemus run. This is more of like we're shooting the effect of magic fingers. Which is to say that when we fight enemies with uh, low HP, they're not going to last. And the more enemies you put on the screen, doesn't really affect us, to be honest with you. Life is still good either way. And the Sacrificial Dagger pickup is huge from an orbital perspective as well. Got Isaac's head, but I'm not that interested in that. Hopefully we got enough rooms left to get a charge here, but I'll admit, I'm skeptical. We got a bomb, though. We could use that bomb to, uh... Yeah, we'll check our cursor, probably. We could use that bomb to, uh, blow up our donation machine and maybe pick something up. Dang, son. That is unfortunate. One room shy of being able to... Two rooms shy, sorry, of being able to get another charge. And that costs us a spirit heart, or a demon heart, effectively, to go in there. Dangerous situation. We are, you know what, let's, let's not use our bomb to buy something, let's use your, our bomb to access this red chest, I have faith. Sometimes faith can be misguided. So we know that this is the uh, asshole room, but this way is easy. And I'm actually glad that we fought greed because we don't have to worry about our money and we'll pick up money or effectively, yeah, basically money in the process. And we got some extra spirit hearts out of it as well, which is lovely. And we managed to sneak out of there. We're still in a fantastic position. Didn't improve ourselves maybe necessarily as much as I would have loved to there, but uh, that's okay. If you're playing along with me at home, I trust that you're not too disappointed in your seed right now. It's, it's looking all right. And it should there should be a win here, but I think this is one of those seeds where there's like, you know, 30 different ways to get to that win. You could be having technology spoon bender right now. You could be having mom's knife. You be having mom's knife technology spoon bender, for all I know. I don't know what that does for you, but... Ooh, I'd die to find out, like Savage Garden said. Wouldn't actually, though. Like, it's ridiculous. Again, I, died, I still don't understand the lyrics of that song. Ooh, I want you, I don't know if I need you. But ooh, I'd die to find out. Lo, my son, you have uh, been bequeathed to me, your father in heaven. Why have you given your life? Well, you s I wanted to see if I needed her. I have confirmed for you that you did, and now your soul will rest with me for all of eternity. Oh, I didn't think that one through. Well, I'm happy that we got the map. At least there's a library here. Oh, a credit card! Really awesome for us with limited amounts of HP for the deal with the devil we're about to encounter. I am very excited about this. Free deal with the devil. Every item on it will be free. Don't give me Krampus. Don't give me Krampus. As though, I'll, I'll desire Krampus in the future, but let me get this credit card out of the way. We can always hold it with us here, of course. But I would prefer, I know there's a bomb back there as well, but I would prefer to just get it done. You know, get it over with. We're stacking up HP, lots of batteries, lots of random spirit art drops as well. Life's good right now. No question about it, but we'll, uh, See how this works. And are we going to do boss rush? I mean, I'd like to do boss rush if we can. We've had some great item generation. There's no reason to necessarily think that that's going to continue, but wouldn't it be nice if it did? <laughs> Monstro 2 is not a pain in the ass. Creating a nice little cloud of death sights around us. 
Now, I think until the shots bounce against the wall, I might be wrong about this, but I think until the shots bounce against the wall, it's not um, possible for them to do double damage or to hit an enemy more than one time, is what I mean to say. It's not possible for them to hit once and then come back and hit him again on the other side. It's possible for me to get hit by the same bullet twice, apparently, because I'm an idiot. Doesn't apply to enemies, though. We'll take our HP. It is Krampus, so we'll have to hold on to our credit card or use it on our shop. But really, the problem with our shop isn't money. It's more not having any keys. And if we're going to get something here, you know, lump of coal is what we want to get. We don't have a teleportation card. It's tempting just to head down to the next floor, but we should do some more exploration. Look, I'm just going to tell you, I think Boss Rush gets a little bit of a bad rap. And a lot of people are not are not going to agree with me on that one. But I had somebody tweet me, and I'm not trying to put this dude on blast, but it makes for a good example. He said, Northern Lion, it was phrased kind of condescendingly, which I don't think they intended, but it said, Northern Lion, you really need to stop prioritizing Boss Rush. And I was like, I, tell me more about what I need to do. Uh, anyway, not to sound condescending, but that's it, it came across as condescending to me. So that was my natural inclination was to respond in kind, you know, like begets like sometimes. Anyway. Do you want to go library? I'd rather go to the shop, I think, in our current situation. But he said, you need to stop prioritizing the shop. Or sorry, prioritizing the boss rush room. It's not skipping an item room. And I kind of took issue with that. And I said, you know, can you explain to me mathematically how it's not worth skipping an item room? Let's assume you don't have the D6. Even if you do, I don't think it changes it because it's proportionally the same. But if you don't have the D6, you skip one item room. You get a choice of four items instead of a choice of one item. I, I really feel like if you can teleport out... It, it makes sense to skip one item room to go to the boss rush room. You get a choice of items. Am I missing something obvious, or, or is that actually the proper way? I agree that you shouldn't skip, you know, two item rooms if you can avoid it. Or, you know, two item rooms in a shop, or, you know, that, you're getting a little playing with fire if you get to that degree, but I do think it's worth skipping an item room in order to get to your boss rush room and snag an item or two. But, <laughs> I'm not overly worried about it here because we don't have a teleportation card. If we did have a teleportation card, we probably would have just gone straight down to the next level, but anyway. It, I'm interested to see what people think, because I think Boss Rush, honestly, people have ridden it off uh, wholesale, and it doesn't deserve that. Depths 1 is not the best time to use the Pandora's box, but it's not the worst either. Um, I think I'll just keep what we've got here, though. Save our money so we're guaranteed to be able to buy something for our next shop. But anyway... I think Boss Rush has been written off wholesale by a lot of people in an unfair fashion when it's actually, it can be viable, and maybe I've given it kind of a shit rap by, you know, abusing it so much. I apologize for that. But there is strategic viability to the Boss Rush room. If you're, if you're telling yourself it's not worth skipping a single item room for, I think you're, you're kidding with yourself a little bit. I think you're, you're choosing to not ask yourself the difficult questions. Although, again, mathematically speaking, I might be missing something. And of course, you know, on an anecdotal level, maybe you skip an item room that has Polythemus to pick up you know, the best item from the boss rush room, which could be Little Steven. Sure, that shit's gonna happen. But uh, on a probabilistic level, you know, that's what Isaac's all about, you know, making the best decision in every situation you have, or at least making the best of the situation you find yourself in. Anyway. I'm not trying to straw man, that was a real thing, and the, the, his response tweet has not come in yet. So, you know, I don't... And maybe he does have a mathematical analysis and he's going to rightfully call me a shithead. I'm not totally sure yet. I'm kind of hoping one of these just teleports us directly to a deal with the devil. For all the talk of boss rush, I don't think we're actually going to get to boss rush on this run. I wouldn't mind it. It was on my mind for a while, but we took a little bit too long to backtrack on the last floor. Let's try to bounce these shots off the back wall before they, um, before they hit Monstro. Because I'm pretty sure when they bounce off the back wall, they'll do a little bit more damage. Which is nice. If he's next to a wall, I think when the shots rubber cement bounce off the wall... They uh, should be able to pick up a little, or they should be able to pick up the ability to do damage again. So it's best to have an enemy that's on the side as opposed to an enemy that's, uh, you know, just standing out in the middle. Book of Revelations is, I mean, what's good about it is that we can use it right away. This is a really stacked run, I got to admit. It's an awesome run from the perspective of there being like really good items here, uh, and and there's a lot of different paths to success. You, you know, you might be able to pull out a third or even fourth level Meat Boy on this run. Not that that'll help you if you don't have the achievement yet, but you get the idea. What the heck just... Something fell off my computer tower there. That was freaking me out. I know I stepped on a spike there, but seriously, nothing was near my computer tower. And like, a, a thing that was on top of it just fell off of it. That was a spooky ghost going on here. We could still do boss rush, it's just unlikely. We'll have to find ourselves in a position where, uh... Like, these next rooms are gonna have to go real quick. And we might not even want that, to be honest with you. 
What we shouldn't do is use a teleportation card like the Emperor to get rid of the credit card, thus getting rid of our ability to get a free deal with the Devil in order to take Boss Rush. And the reason I say that is because not necessarily is it mathematically the worst idea, but mathematically, it's complicated. <laughs> and that, that makes it a little bit intimidating for me. And if you're sitting there at, uh, at home and you're saying, I'll calculate the math for that, that sounds like fun. I am jealous of your scholarly intent. I mean that sincerely. You know, I used to be there. Do an algebra for fun, you know? But uh, I've, I've lost that, that luster. You should keep it, man. Don't let anyone ever shame you for, for constantly, you know, living a life full of learning. That's a very admirable trait. People are just jealous. We probably could kill Mom, but I'm going to make the executive decision uh, to not do it. And that's not just like, I could do it, but I don't want to. Because that's, that's a shitty attitude. Rather, I'm saying I'm not even going to chance it. Maybe the game... Well, let's put it this way. The game beat me. When it comes to boss rush, because I chose not to do it, and if I had been faster, I would have chosen to do it. Two of diamonds, I don't see a reason not to pop it right now, so we can hold on to our joker card. We will go back to our secret room. There wasn't much floor left here, but I'm not regretful of my decision. You should be, like, super dead. You lived longer than I thought you would. So did you, to be fair. There we go. Um... I admittedly, I wish this could go differently, but it's not gonna. So we'll buy 9 volt. That'll give us a charge. We'll buy our battery and get ready to take it in with us. And then we'll donate a lot of money here, because I've been taking a lot of money away from it. I'll buy a key here, and maybe even a bomb, depending on how much money they leave us with at the end. Don't mind Kate, she's playing some Monster Hunter. It's a game that requires a little bit of crowd participation. It's a lot of fun. Nothing like the Binding of Isaac. There you go. How's that for... Good talking about a game without using the Binding of Isaac in a sentence. I'm going to keep donating. I don't need the money. You know, I know that I said I would buy a bomb, buy a key. It doesn't matter. I'd rather just make sure our donation machine is flush. If the game gives me the opportunity to donate 30-something cents to our donation machine, fuck yeah, man. I'm in. And we are going to miss out on our secret room uh, as a result of that, which it, it admittedly does suck, but it's not the end of the world. There we go. Pick up a little extra money. We can buy our... Did I say donation machine? And we're going to miss out on our secret room as a result of not buying that bomb, but I don't really care. Admittedly, I could go back and buy that bomb. Or I can get IV bag and then go and buy it. Um, but I just don't really care enough to get into the secret room that might just give us three cents anyway. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll take the Polaroid for sure. We'll head down to the next floor. It's almost unfathomable to imagine a loss coming out of this run. It's not quite as powerful as I thought it would be. Uh, but it's, it's still quite good. Mostly, I'm surprised we got no guppy items. And I'm not indignant about it. I'm just, <laughs> like, I'm actually just, I'm impressed, if nothing else. We've had so many deals with the devil, or at least a few deals with the devil. And, um, we've had the left hand for, like, three or four floors. And I've not picked up a single guppy item. It's kind of amazing, actually. I admire the game's restraint, shall we say. Now, there are spirit hearts back there. I'll tell you straight up. I'm probably not going to remember that they're there when it's necessary, unless it happens right now. Two orbitals means anytime I have the opportunity to use permanent Polaroid Mint's ability, I'm going to be able to pick up a ton of HP. I'll go back for the HP, don't worry about it. Also, recognize, I know that there's a tinted rock in that room where we fought Chubb, but what's the point? <laughs> we don't have any bombs right now. There's not a whole lot I can do about it, so we'll just learn to let it go, and that's okay. Give me the strength to uh, deal with the things I can deal with, and uh, the... Strength to ignore the ones I can't. I don't mind this champion version of Peep uh, with our HP as high as it is. Another tinted rock in here, but I'm not that worried about it. I mean, I would love to have small rock, but I'm not going to get too stressed out over, over whether or not we're going to get plus one damage when it seems like it's unlikely to matter. One thing I will say, and this is just a difference in, in my perspective with some of the community's perspective. And not all the community's perspective. Maybe not even the majority's. But there is definitely a contingent of the Isaac community that is not concerned about winning. They're concerned about uh, perfect play. And there's nothing wrong with that. This is still okay for us here. Um, but there's a contingent of people who would rather see a loss with perfect play than a win with mistakes. And obviously that implies that there's kind of a different seed going on. That's okay. And I mean, sometimes I'm like that as well. Sometimes I like to see runs where somebody played perfectly, but just the game shit on them. There's nothing they could have done, or very little they could have done. Um, but, you know, that, that is where I differ with the game, or I differ with some of the community a little bit, is that I don't really care to see perfect play. I'm more, I'm more trying to be entertaining, and, you know, 
I, I, I hate to push people away from my videos, and I'm not trying to say, hey, don't watch me, you asshole. But uh, if you're the kind of person who is interested in more perfect play, and you're getting mad at my mistakes, I'm starting to think that maybe there's something just wrong with you. Because there are plenty of other Isaac content creators you can go watch who have, uh, you know, very high level skill. I'm happy you're watching me. Obviously, I must be doing something right. But, it, you know, if, you're, if your doctor is saying, stop watching those Northern Line videos, you, you're going to have a the heart attack. And, you know, you should stop watching those Northern Line videos. You're going to have a heart attack. When people say, like, oh, my God, you know, I face palmed so hard when you did that that I had to go get brain surgery. I'm like, man, that sounds like you got the problem, not me. <laughs> I, you know what I did? I made a mistake, you know, noticed or barely didn't notice. And, and you know, I went up and got myself a beer from the fridge and then had a good rest of the day with, you know, putting things in perspective here. It's good to know that that Balls of Steel pill is in there, but anyway, um, yeah, I'll use a key for this. We can go back for one of those tinted rocks, but I'm sure we'll find more in the future. Or if we don't, we don't, you know, that's okay too. All I'm saying is, you know, you, you know, I, I, I recognize that I differ from a certain subset of the Isaac community. That's okay. I'm glad that we all exist. I'm glad that this, you know, they, they can't exist without the other. There would not be me, at least not within the Isaac community, if there were also not people who were, like, super anal about high-level play. I recognize that. Because this is a single-player game that has had an enduring community because it allows for, like, you know, it has a high skill cap, basically. Uh, and, and that's cool. So, even though sometimes we... We might rub each other the wrong way and, and start some conflict, uh, not even conflict, but a little, you know, stress. Uh, I, I recognize that we're all on the same team here, we're all, we're all on Team Isaac. Except when they nerf things, in which case, you know, fuck everything. Um, keys are coming fast and furious here. I was gonna say, this is a big floor. We gotta be getting to the point where we're finding our boss room pretty soon. Mr. Fred. If we don't get a deal with the devil here, I'm gonna be real ornery. Don't get as much of an opportunity to use the credit card as I might like. And if it turns out that we uh, don't find... Oh, that's not going to work. And that was very stupid. If it turns out we don't find a deal with the devil on this floor, we really should have used the credit card earlier. You know what would be awesome on this run? This is, like, very, very obvious, but shielded tiers would be amazing. What do you got? A deal with the devil and a speed upgrade. Or, sorry, a, a shot speed upgrade and a damage upgrade. I like it. Look, this is... It could be better. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, but I'll... I'll live with it. And we'll take the Pact, which is a pretty nice damage in Tears upgrade, and we'll head down to the next floor. It's a good item! And we got them for free, that's okay. Curse of the Lost, uh, largely irrelevant. We're gonna continue to get stronger, albeit- OH NO! <laughs> I took the wrong one! I, I'll, I'll go back for that key. I didn't realize that I didn't take uh, Satanic Bible with me. See, there's a mistake. And uh, that's a mistake that on a lesser run would basically mean an instant loss but on this run I'm kind of excited about it you know I, I think it's funny and I think it'll lead to uh, some unique tension as we determine uh, whether or not I maybe mean, we can even roll shoot the woo if we wanted to but as we determine whether or not we can actually get some uh, blood banks not blood banks but black markets out of this I don't think we can this late in the game not just like you know mathematically speaking like I think like literally we just can't get blood banks <laughs> We definitely can't get blood banks out of the shovel. I think mathematically, though, we can't get uh, a black market. Oh, this damage is looking real nice right now. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm glad that we chose the permutation of items that we did. Although, I'll admit the tech run could have been fun. Oh, okay, you know what? When I put that down there, we can actually see whether or not there's a ladder. I thought it was just going to be like a stoma. You know, like an opening to the next floor. We can't go down it, of course, because then we wouldn't be able to, you know, go up to the cathedral. But... We can at least uh, see properly, and hopefully that maintains itself for the uh, the cathedral. And I think on the cellar, or sorry, not on the cellar, on the chest. Now I've got them, you know, mixed up backwards in the opposite direction of what I normally do. But I think on the chest, we just can't use the shovel, so that's gonna suck. But we'll see. I might be mistaken. We might not even be able to use it on the cathedral now that I think about it. But this run is gonna be over in in good time. Again, it's kind of like we got a tiny planet thing going on. I'm not sure how much of a difference it makes, but I'm trying to bounce all my shots, if possible, off the back wall just so they can pick up a little bit of extra damage from a uh, lump of coal. I don't know how much that's helping, but it feels like it's helping a lot. And that's all that matters, I guess. Come on, small rock. Small rock would be nice. Just in time. There you go. See, you're getting bent out of shape over not getting tinted rocks earlier. We got the damage upgrade when it counts. Well, technically, if you got it earlier, it would have been big. Okay, you know, mathematically speaking, you're correct, of course. 
Let's just be friends. Why can't we? Okay. Did not create uh, an opening for us to go down to the next floor. But that doesn't mean that it won't create an opening. Maybe, and this is all conjecture, but maybe it does create a uh, an opening if it takes you to a crawl space or a black market. If it was just going to take you to the next floor, it won't work. But maybe if you're trying to create a black market, like maybe if you create a black market out of it, it will create a ladder and a hole in the ground that you can actually use. I doubt it, to be honest with you, but I think it's it's feasible. What if we use it in here? No. All right. Well, we might have ruined that, and you know... I'm playing the world's smallest violin for myself. I mean, we're in a situation right now where we're doing an incredible amount of damage, and we're still at the HP cap, so it's hard for me to be too... Oh, there we go. It's still hard for me to be too bent out of shape that we, uh... left Satanic Bible behind, because we wouldn't even really be able to use it right now. I mean, we could con we'd replace some of our spirit arts with black hearts. I guess that's it. I guess we'll take Bob's Rod and Head. I mean, I don't want to, but I will. Check this out just to see what we might have at our disposal. Gu okay, Guppy's head was well worth the two spirit hearts I'm gonna, you know, get hit by here. And actually, because we have 9 volt, we might be able to use Guppy's head more than once per room if there's any enemy we encounter that actually lives through the first barrage of shots and, you know, lasts. That was very dumb. Lasts long enough for um, another shot to come in here. Bob's our own head again. Lovely. Now we are, uh, HP wise, not quite doing as excellent as I'd like to be. But I'm not concerned about it because I have 100% certainty that we are going to get shielded tears. It's just inevitable. It's just science. Um, I've crunched the numbers myself, and it's it's pretty much a guarantee. Not really rolling with the most uh, confidence-inducing fly army, but that's okay. And of course we get our only guppy item after we're no longer holding the left hand. But anyway... Now to the next floor. Well, I mean, first we have to take out Isaac, of course. I wouldn't want to prematurely jump the gun here. This is where the 9-volt the Gubby's head combination is going to be awesome for us, uh, is on boss fights like this that are going to take a little bit longer. But really, there's probably only going to be literally two of these in the rest of the game. Isaac and then, of course, uh, Blue Baby afterwards. I'm still trying to do the, uh, like, bounce off the wall damage bonus. I'm not sure if it, it's compensated for by the extra damage bonus that we get, by the, you know, the riskiness of it, but when we throw in the orbitals as well, it makes it very difficult for them to stand up to us. Here we go. Did not forget about the left hand, but then we had Curse of the Blind. No soy milk, please. Sad Bombs, very nice. Mom's Pad, very gross. Mom's Eye, very useless. Deck of Cards, not very exciting. But I guess I can be okay with this. What did we get there? What was the first item we picked up there? I guess it wasn't that exciting. Because <laughs> it's already left my mind. Uh, let's see if we can kill our uh, war last year. Because I think we'll get a spirit heart out of it. No, just a red heart. It was blue war. I thought we were set. Perhaps a secret room. Oh, sad bombs. That's what it was. That makes it easier. Yeah, I mean, we don't have very many bombs, but uh, if we use them effectively, or we do things like, you know, deliberately killing Wrath last, which we totally failed at there, um, we can get more and then use those very nicely. Ooh, what is this? D100. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, well, let's do it. Let's let's use D100, reroll our whole run, and reroll the, uh, the item on the ground. Now we got, like, 2020 Mysterious Liquid. Raw liver, don't mind if I do. Um, we're insanely slow right now. This is maybe the slowest I've ever been. We're missing out on our awesome synergy, but... I, I think we have piercing shots somewhere in, in the in the setup here. This is terrible damage. Terrible damage and terrible speed. This is not my favorite reroll. Oh, we got Taurus. We've been getting Taurus on like every reroll lately. I think we have Taurus anyway. We also have money equals power. I mean... You're probably able to see that based on the glasses we have. This is still a very winnable run, like with this setup, but uh, it's just also a very unfortunate uh, reroll. But that's okay. We can pull it out. We're going to reroll it again pretty soon anyway. And the raw liver pickup is awesome. So, I mean, like, Taurus is good. It's just taking us forever to actually be able to use it here. And you will be not deceased, much to my surprise and chagrin. Alrighty. 
strength card may end up being more valuable than I had originally anticipated. I almost uh, hit the anti-record key there, like the stop record key, when I uh, put my glass down. That would have been pretty devastating. Not going to lie, that would have hurt a great deal. I don't know what I would have done. I guess I would have had to splice them together in the YouTube editor, which would have taken like eight hours. That's barely a joke. The YouTube editor is probably the worst piece of... Uh, editing software. I guess it's, I don't even know if it's software if it's online. Someone smarter than me is going to have to answer that, but it's the worst piece of anything ever made. It, you, no matter what category you choose to put it in, it's the worst. Worst piece of cake, worst uh, piece of Russian literature, it's it's down there, man. It's real not good. So I'm almost kind of, I mean, we have 2020 and what looks like half decent damage, but I'm still pretty much resorting to almost exclusively using my attack fly. That's the kind of run we find ourselves in here. But that's going to get rerolled, and hopefully not rerolled into something truly terrible. Remember, we don't have sad bombs anymore, otherwise I'd love to use them. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Not happy about that. Very fast now. Obviously we have a Nod Leaf. Okay, this is a very common one. It seems like Monstro's Lung, uh, Fire Mind for sure, Tiny Planet without a doubt, And probably Proptosis or Polyphemus. Oh, this is terrible. We're gonna die. Where's my? I have like Tech. Oh, it's Robo Baby. Okay, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Go back. Get some red hearts. Oh, tiny planet, you're breaking my heart. Do we really want. That's what we, all we want right there. Uh, this is a scary one. We have eleven bombs. I think we'll try to use those bombs to get us carried to another reroll. Because, oh man, that's dumb. Because as of right now, it's not, that's the problem right there, is that we're so close, we need to be close to hit the enemies. Oh, we have Scapular, thankfully. We need to be close to hit the enemies, but after we hit them, you know, the, the Fire Mine blows up in our face. Not very many bombs, not very many bombs. Little hot, though. This, any damage over time that we can do is like a godsend. There we go. Probably want to kill Sloth first. Not very smart on my behalf. We got some extra HP out of it. Got another bomb out of it. We can go back for that half heart. I don't want to fight Blue Baby with this. And normally, like, that would be me trying to be like, uh, Oh, I'm going to play up the entertainment factor on this run. Oh, boy. No, in this case, it's fully me saying, like, fuck this run. I don't think it's good enough to beat Blue Baby with. And I don't want to. I don't want to mess around with it. Okay, just a little haunt. That's up to you, buddy. That's up to you. That's up to you. Okay. What's ridiculous is that if we wanted to, we could easily win this run. You might be picking up what I'm putting down right now. We could go and um, just go into the boss room and let little haunt do all the damage for us. Can we just say that we've won? We should probably re-roll ourselves in that room next time, by the way. But can we just say that we've won? Because that I could just go do that now, and all I'd have to do is walk away for 10 minutes and it would be done. There's something special about that, I'll admit it, you know, it's it's weird. I'm not going to do it, though. Uh, not because of principles or anything like that, but just because I think it's boring. It's boring for me. And, uh, you know, one of my major things that I like to do with these videos is entertain myself. And that doesn't sound entertaining to me. So I'm going to try to win the hard way. Not because I'm noble, but because I'm an idiot. So we're actually going to have another extra reroll here, which is awesome. Very, very nearly died. Let's go back into our big room with the items. And we're going to reroll them. See what we got. Okay, this is looking sweet. We also get telepathy for dummies. Fat odd mushroom for a damage upgrade. We don't need to take the battery in with us. I think this should be enough to win now. We got some good stuff going on, but it's risky. You know, our HP is not very good. We got Relic. We got BBF. We got Sissy Longlegs. We got uh, Dead Bird. We got Leech, which is what I'm really hoping we'll be able to snag HP from. And we got a risky situation. You might be saying, why aren't you shooting some more? That's why. We have, uh, oh, we have the Wafer, I think, as well. But we have Shielded Tears. The Shielded Tears are going to explode with Ipecac, like, right in front of our face. It's 
it's very dangerous. You can't just be firing shielded shots willy-nilly. They're going to come up in your face. Got to use the strength card. Oh, that's bad. Come on. Come on. Finish it. Finish it. We did it. <laughs> Easy. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.